Why are you guys getting rid of these fish? Why are you shooting them? Why are you killing them? Why not just leave them alone? Let them be, and everything will work its place out, right? Nature always does. And it's usually only after you start explaining the situation that this is caused by man and the impact blind fish are going to have if we don't do something that the, uh, the light bulb starts to go off. This is the very first time we're dealing with something like this. And of course, the million dollar question everybody wants to know, how did he get here? Uh, I remember one day I went on my usual dive, 9 a.m. morning dive at the Aquamall Dive Center. And my favorite dive master, Chepo, tells me one day, he says, lionfish are here. So what's that? He goes, we have to hunt them. They're not from here. We have to hunt them. They're invasive. what made me hunt these fish. Um, the reason why is because we saw a different change of these fish suddenly in our waters, and we read about it, heard about it, we saw these fish supposed not to be in our waters. It started with just a few sightings in a very small location, and then spread over time. 1985, way before Hurricane Andrew, South Florida. Until the late 90s, it was really isolated in Florida, and then you see a progression up the east coast, out to Bermuda. The first fish showed up in the Bahamas in 2004. And then in 2007, just this explosion, that movement down through the Caribbean. The North Shore. 140. 155. Check that out. Look at that. Fish tail. Somebody's in there. They eat an extremely wide variety of prey. Almost anything that moves, that fits in their mouth, they'll eat. Lionfish can take prey larger than half their own size. So bigger than half their own size, as long as it fits in the mouth, that's fair game. So it's going to impact our commercial fisheries on things that we eat, the snapper and grouper. They also impact recreationally important species. And then maybe the most important are the ecologically important species. The grazers, like parrotfish that scrape the algae so it doesn't overgrow the coral. Cleaner species that pick parasites off other fish to keep the whole system healthy. So if you think about the kind of impacts lionfish are gonna have, it's not on one or two things. It could be very broad impacts across all kinds of sectors. That's not good. Lionfish are gluttonous feeders, and their stomach can expand 30 times its normal size to accommodate all that food. When food's not available, guess what they do? They shut down. It's almost like hibernation. Their metabolism slows way, way down, and they've done uh, trial studies in the lab where they starved lionfish for three months and none of the lionfish died, and they only lost 10% of their body mass. My name is Ali El Haj. I am a designer and the developer and designer of the zookeeper. The, uh, the zookeeper was designed using plumbing tu tubes that, that are made for the European market. Um, in the U.S., you don't get those, those parts to be able to make a zookeeper the way we, we, we put it together. Um, since then, we've gone ahead and made it even better. And this is what the new zookeeper looks like. You still, just like the prototype, you still push the fish in through the funnel. Uh, so you never, get to, you never touch the fish. You shoot it with a spear um, using a pole spear. This is a pole spear that, that we use um, that's very effective. Tell us about the dangers of being a lionfish hunter. <laughs> when you play with fire, you get burnt. Being stung by a lionfish, um, I've heard multiple people, and I think I said it too, after getting stung. I'd rather, you know, if you get stung in your, your hand or something, you'd want to cut the whole thing off. That's, it's, 
incredible pain. What parts of lionfish are venomous? Spines. spines, right. There are spines across the back. So there are 13 very long, very sharp dorsal spines. But there are also spines on the bottom of the fish. The pelvic fins, which are right here that stick out at the bottom of the fish, the very leading edge of each pelvic fin is a short spine. That's venomous on each side. And then the anal fin back here at the back, the first three elements of that anal fin are short spines. Hunting lionfish gives me a, a rush. Uh, hunting these fish on the water at different depths and you know, being aware of your surrounding will actually try to hit these fish in bullseye. Um, kind of makes it different than regular diving. And what's your personal best? Uh, the most amount of lionfish I've ever shot in one dive would be 69. International gang. Feel how heavy! Oh my gosh! Oh Which my one's over? Yeah! Heavy, heavy! Alright, so we jump in with the gear and everything off the cliff. Literally cliff diving. With my knees. Yeah. I'm gonna need some beer for the pain later. We went back, jumped off a cliff that's like 20 feet high. We got in the water, water was rough. Yeah, look at this. Some scratches too, all part of the game. Uh, the rush is that, you know, we need to get them out. And it, it is fun to do. Hunting lion fish is fun to do. It's fun to look for them, fun to, uh, uh, to spear it, and put it in the zoo container unit. Also, because it's good to eat, and we get some money out of it, make it food and um, also brings food for the family on my table. Yeah, it's very nice, very tasteful, very delicacy. It's a very good fish. Have you ever had any fear to eat the lionfish? No, it's a nice soft white meat and it's very, very, very good. My name is Lad Akins. I'm the Director of Special Projects for REEF, REEF Environmental Education Foundation. We're a nonprofit marine conservation organization based in Florida and we do many different projects, but my main focus is addressing this lionfish invasion. Lionfish are a non-native species to our waters. They're actually native to the Indo-Pacific and Red Sea area, and they're kept uh, very popularly kept as uh, home aquarium pets. And some of those fish have been released into these ocean waters and are reproducing and spreading throughout the region. And we're very concerned about this because of the effects they can have on our native marine life, our native fish and crustaceans, by consuming them. Lionfish derbies are a great way to uh, increase awareness and education about the problem, um, but they also remove a lot of fish out of the waters. So they can serve many different functions, uh, education, providing samples for researchers, providing opportunities for tasting the fish, and we're hoping that these kinds of events can help minimize the impact of this lionfish invasion. So I hunt lionfish every day. I feel like it's my responsibility to help my environment save the reef because it's my home and I hunt lionfish for that reason and you know I don't like to kill animals but uh, we eat everything and it's just it's the best way to eat organic fresh environmentally friendly for a good cause. Time's running we're done here there's lionfish that need to be killed I gotta go out there and bring them back so we can have lionfish to eat so see you guys later.